evening all Sunday evening so guess where I've been I was just playing with the LED lights on the camera before I start recording Look at this aren't you not bad <laughs> now you see it now you don't now you see it now you don't anyway um stolen the uh, power supply out of this because uh, my brother's just bought a new case motherboard and DDR4 memory because he's building a gaming rig and uh, he's actually made me want to do the same thing but chances are it'll never happen with me because I'm always buying Lego or bike parts <laughs> that's the other thing I'm always buying the bike parts um, yeah, I ain't got a lot of battery left, but that doesn't matter. I've got batteries over there. Biggles was sorting through all the other boxes of bike parts he had. And uh, has uh, pretty much given me what he had left of um, all the sort of mountain bike and modern bike parts. There's a couple of bits in there non-related to bike apart from that. He also got this down at the recycle centre, but the chances are, as it's down at the recycling centre, it doesn't work. But I will. Where is it? I will um, find a way of uh, powering this up and uh, testing it. I need one of those adapters anyway, so I might go on eBay and get one. Mm. You never know, you might get lucky. I have um, found, you know, electrical items down there that you think aren't going to work, and they do. But yeah, I've got that box of parts there, that box of parts here, and that tin up there. Uh, that's just got my laptop in that I took to Mum's and some. Oh, excuse me! And some. I um, apologise for that. Um, my clean washing, or some of my clean washing anyway. Um, I don't think there's a lot in here. There's a few bits I'm going to put on eBay. Cheap. <laughs> um, a few more soup. I don't know why I didn't leave these at Mum's, because I don't really need any more here. Um, you've, you've probably seen about half of what he's given me because uh, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't bought home I've still got a box full of these at mum's seat posts um, I think he's given me a couple of handlebars three four or five bikes bike frames and a bike or two I can't bloody remember what he's given me now I think I put a few bits in this tin as well Oh yeah, that's just uh, wheel axles and wheel bearings and spacers and cones and everything to do with wheels, basically. Or wheels and wheel axles, I should say. Um, another handlebar stem. It's actually quite a nice one. Black seems to be a popular colour for these stems. For any bike stem, actually. Especially on a mountain bike. Uh, especially on the budget ones, they were always black, and the paintwork was always shit. <laughs> That's another nice long one. Ideal for a um, one of those low sort of frame jump bikes type bikes. There's a mountain bike chain in there. There's some more derailleurs. It's not the front one. Look at that though, how clean that is. Mint. That would have probably gone on my uh, thingy. Oh yes. And uh, I think in one of the road bike build videos, I know I still haven't got part four and five up yet, but they are coming. I've just been busy today. Busy yesterday. I'll do them tomorrow, I promise. But I did say in one of them that I was going to... Um, change the rear derailleur 
if a nice one ever came along. And when I can find it, I took the rest of his derailleurs because, well, they would have just gone in the bin otherwise. Um, but there is a rear one somewhere. Can't remember if it's put. No, I'm pretty certain I didn't put it in here. So it's going to be in here with that front drain. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't want to do that. But, um, bottle cage. Some sealed cartridges. Bottom bracket cartridges. There's a couple of these I've got. Here's another one. I prefer to use these because I find they last a lot longer. And they're a lot easier to fit. <laughs> I actually don't know what's in the bottom of that tin. I haven't looked. These pedals are the road bike pedals with the little clips, you know, that your shoes clip into. I think you need to have the special shoes. I'm going to eBay these because they're no good to me. Um, I probably could do with a new strap on them. I don't know if you can buy the straps. Yeah, I've sold a pair like this before on eBay, so I'll put them up there for, I don't know, two ninety nine or something. Got some handlebar grips. Ah. No, nope, it's not that one. It's this one. I'm going to put this one on my racer. It's a Shimano. Oh, it's got Suntour on it, but I believe Suntour is Shimano. But look at that. In that beautiful looking drone <laughs> ah, Oh, this is completely dismantleable as well. I can undo this bit here and take it apart and there. Cool. Yeah, that's definitely going on my um, Sun Solo. I figured I might as well take the rest of the derailleurs. I definitely don't need any derailleurs now. I've got loads. In fact, I might go through them and put some on eBay. What have we got here? Oh, where'd this come from? I don't remember putting that in my box. That is a very nice road bike brake caliber. <laughs> I honestly do not remember putting that in this box. I don't even remember seeing it. I don't know where it come from. It's a P. I didn't have the pair though, because they would have got on eBay nicely. Um, I just oh, I thought I took all of these out, but I've got fucking shitloads of those outer cables. This black stuff. Well, actually, I've got it in all colours. <laughs> Here's some more. Here's some. Um, I'm surprised he actually gave me these. power something actually bolt through the racing bike frame can you see that bolt yeah they don't clamp to the frame these actually bolt through might oh that's sun tour as well so i bet this i have got another one that's down in that white tub there i bet this went with that rear derailleur I bet they, or at least they came off the same bike i bet Ooh, sun tour. There's just there's some reflectors in here as well, some brake levers, another cable. Ah. Uh, is that another one or did I just put that back in there? Is that the one I put in there? Yeah, I think it is. These um, handlebar grips. Cheers, shit face. And they've actually got... Uh, which end is it? One end. Oh yeah, they've got the screw there. You actually bolt them on. And there's a screw in there as well. Mm, I'm not sure I like this bit here. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. When I revamp Claudia, it might go on there. Um, random ball bearings of various sizes. I need a ball bearing gauge now, really. Mudguard stays, adjustable head stem. 
jar of grease. Um, we'll have that go on eBay at some point. Some of this stuff I may put in a box and save for the day that my restrictions get lifted and I can list more than ten fucking items. <laughs> Because when I can only list 10 items, I really want to list something that I feel is going to make more than 99p. <laughs> yeah, got some mudguard stays in here. Um. Oh yeah, handlebar stem um, extension. I couldn't think of the word for a second there. I've actually got a use for this. I'm going to put this on that little silver kid's bike. <laughs> Just for the sheer hell of it. That is my shits and giggles bike. So, more reflectors in there. And some half decent bar ends here. I do like these ones. Don't like the colour though. But again, that's something I could, if I really wanted to, put it on eBay at some point. I've got shitloads that I could put on eBay. I might only get like couple of pounds for them here and there but there's some dinky little bits in here as well and some more brake noodles and whatnot. Uh, in that one it's not just seats I've actually got several that one's a Brooks that one's going on eBay that was actually on a bike he gave me yeah, it's not in the best of condition but it's still worth a few quid at least so I just took that off, brought that over. I've got this one. The fat ass seat, as I like to call them. These are actually surprisingly comfortable. And um, this may end up on one of my bikes. Uh, this one may end up on my um, Sun Solo, because that is a very nice saddle. A very. Feels nice as well, so yeah, that may end up on my son solo. That one, and we've got this funky sort of uh, retro style one. I've definitely got some decent seats, none of them have got bloody clamps on though. Grand Star, that one nylon. Uh, <laughs> that come off an old pro bike. And then we've got this one. I could even put this one on there, to be honest. That is um, quite a comfortable, nice looking seat. Full of cobwebs. <laughs> uh, got some random bits in here, some packets of brand new valves. I'll have to go through this later. Oh yeah, more outers. Look at this lot. All this. All outer cables. There's actually some cables in there as well. <laughs> and there's more outers and cables in there as well. That's all that's in that box. So I've got this lot to go through. Some more packets of cables. And I'm surprised he actually gave me that as well. Because he was saving all these old vintage parts and whatnot for someone else that's interested in them. Which is fair enough. I mean, I am more of a mountain bike type person, so... Well, in that I specialise, I suppose you could say, uh, in mountain bikes. What we got here? I, have, I don't even have a look in here, so I haven't got a clue. We've got some copper rivets from the look of it. Oh, if I'd known they were in there, I'd have given them a stepdad, because they're no good to me. Another one of these. Oh, this one actually clamps around the front. Oh, no, it doesn't. No. Oh. Is that a sun tour as well? Yeah. Might actually have to clean these up, I think, and uh, put those on eBay. Because the likelihood of me ever getting a bike that's going to need those is extremely slim. In fact, in all the years I've been doing bikes so I've never come across them. Big ass bolt, I was actually going to give that the step down and forgot. Okay. Uh, 
shit is what we've got now. <laughs> this for a bottom bracket though, look. We've got that. See? He was going to put this on eBay as well, and he's got that. Yeah. Still full of water this time. Uh, I've got some brake blocks. More of it, I've got shit loads of these types of levers. I could try putting pairs of these on eBay. And like I said, him, he's given me absolutely fuck loads. I had fuck loads to begin with. And then he gave me even more. Yeah, here it is. Look, the um, bottom bracket. It's like a three-piece. Very weird style. Um, it's toothed. It's splined, so... But I don't know where the chain rings are. Didn't, you know... Yep. I've got a spring bike valve, which uh, it's full of water. Ew. Four of these in here, which actually look like brand new blocks. Look at that. No, it's just a load of random small shit I tipped in there just to just to reduce the number of boxes. Right. We'll go back in here. That's a Shimano Japan. Oh, I wonder if Shimano's a Japanese brand then. So I don't actually know. My knowledge of, you know, the sort of history of bikes and various brands is shit, but I know how to build one. I know a decent part when I see one. <laughs> So we sh shall we see what derailleurs I got? I think they're mostly racing bike ones. There's a simplex one. I don't know if it's worth cleaning up and putting on. It might be when people are restoring these old racing bikes and whatnot. It's just one. That's a Falcon one. Uh, it's just one. That's a Sax Hurra. I actually find these are good ones to put on, so I'll clean that one up. I've actually got a few sax hurrets because I've got a few in the thing. What's this one? What is this one? Positron 400. <laughs> I will eventually just go... Oh, look, and one mountain bike one. And this funky looking one. An Alpha Simplex. See, again, I don't know if that's worth it or not. No, I didn't actually have a look in this. I know it's got the cantilever-style brake box in it. Yeah. Right, um, oh, we've got some stem bolts here as well. Oh, some good clean ones. Fuck me, that's a long stem bolt. <laughs> right. Yeah, we've got, yeah, it looks mostly mountain bike stuff. Got one of these for the cantilever style brake. Oh, yeah, we've got two. We've got another style there. Brake blocks. Uh, lots of nuts and bolts. Real nuts. I think that's it. It looks like he literally picked the rest of his drawers in here and what I didn't take in the first time. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, another one. Oh, these are the ones I knocked out. I just remembered I knocked those out of some bikes earlier. They actually came out of the bikes really, really easy. I got a full crank set at Mum's. Yep. I don't think they're bicycle nuts, them ones. I've got plenty of these cantilever brake blocks as well now. They're all for alloy rims though. There's not one in here for uh, steel. Hello. I've got toggle chain as, uh, or an indicator pin if you prefer. Yeah, looks like a Sturmy Archer one. Uh, Biggles has also said if he sees any bikes come in when I'm not there, he'll get them for me. Which is nice, because I can't get down there as frequently as he can. And I only go down there when Mum's there, so... 
or when mum picks me up I should say right I nearly forgot I just want to go on eBay I hope I haven't missed it if I have let's see what the bids are on that camera I have been outbid there's an hour and 48 minutes and it's still on 21 pounds three bids so someone bid twice to outbid me do I go for that or do I have a look I've actually missed one damn it I missed that pair of cameras oh well see there's another one here that's up to 12 pounds 21 how long left latest model £12.21, there's 17 hours left. Hmm. Mm, might go for that one. I've got, can't pay for anything until Thursday anyway, so it doesn't really friggin' matter. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll let the blue one slip and I'll try the... Whoops. Okay. Not sure that I actually trust it. Not now that I look at it. Why? Only one feedback um, score. I know everyone has to start somewhere, but... <sighs> For someone who's relatively new on eBay, that's a well detailed and laid out thing though. I am not going to trust it. Or oh, there's the 20.1 megapixel that I could go for. So, you know, I'm not short on choices so it doesn't matter if I don't win it okey dokey anyway I just want to check whoops I nearly dropped you I took the annoying hand tr hand strap off this camera because it made it awkward actually holding it think well I can't imagine there being any crap b break blocks in here uh, that one's actually got a wheel direction on it look at that it's got arrows and then the initials B R oh, I've not often seen that on brake blocks some do have direction arrows on this has actually got front written on it as well what is it deer comp another deer comp what's that got written on and it's got an r on it so that's front right hmm. I wonder if I should put these in my Rally Max. Yeah, and this one's got an L on it. Yeah. I never really paid attention to that, because most of the blocks I come across don't have anything written on them like that. Not these cheapy ones like this one. This is just a... You see, there's nothing written on it at all. Something written there, but it's not readable. Same with this one. There's absolutely nothing on that one. that one oh this one is labelled this one's actually got an L on it so that's left that one's right so that's a pair because uh, I do have 
couple of bikes that run cantilever brakes. And that was actually oh, that one's fucked. <laughs> I think that one can go in the bin. My plates fell in the bin. I didn't put them in the bin. They slid off my shelf, so I've got to take those out of there. I think. I think that's it. I haven't found a mate to that one yet. But I can still get these brake blocks. Oddly enough, I think you can still get bikes with cantilever brakes, but I don't think they're as common these days. I know V brakes are probably one of the most common you can get. Racing bikes still tend to use the old sort of horseshoe shaped calipers. That actually reminds me, in one of these boxes, ah, look what I've found. Have I got one more of these in here? Dun, dun, dun. That completely threw me off from what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> um, no, it's completely gone now. Oh well. Couldn't have been that important or that interesting. I think my box I've got of these type of brake blocks I'm going to need a bigger one. These have got to go in the box to go downstairs because that's where all my stems and whatnot are. That means I've got to fuck around getting the shed door open. There's another thingy. Or the remnants of one. Ah. Some nice ones are these. Ah, quickly skewer ends. That is also handy. There's another cotter pin. With what looks... Um, no, the thread's been smushed on that, but... I need... Where is it? I do need at least one cotter pin for... Um, cat strikes racing bike out front. That's one of the things that's been holding me up on it. That and the crank is just being a pain in the jacksy anyway. <laughs> yeah, don't. I might have one of these in my tub, actually. Right. I don't think... You know, unless I actually just tip that box out and go through that, there isn't a lot else to... Shit. Yeah. To go through. I mean, I've got still got shed loads of bits at mum's. There's just no way in hell I could bring it all back here. I've just bought back, well, some random stuff as well as the parts I know I'll use frequently. Such as cables and cable out. I'm always needing this. Because I guarantee that a lot of the bikes I get are going to need all new ones. Mudguard stays with the um, little clamps on as well. Brake cleaver. Some snips of some sort. Oh yeah. I've got a feeling, now that I've got rid of it, that would have gone on my um, Carrera I had, but that is a very rare piece, so I'm going to keep hold of that one. Ah! Maybe I have got two of them brake calibers. <laughs> I think I found a piece of it there. Can I find the other bits of it? What we got in here? More mudguard stays. Quickly skewer. Bloody reflectors. A fucking ding dong in here. I've got a bell. I fucking hate these bells. These are shit.
That wouldn't even be enough to wake the dead. I don't even know why they bother with them. If you're going to get a bicycle bell for your bike, get something decent, not one of them. The only thing I'd do with them is throw them in the bloody bin. Ooh, hello. Got a nice shiny silver threadless cap. Break lever. Break lever. Oh, hello. There's the other side. <laughs> uh, ah. I see, I think. Has that got going there? That screws into there. I think I'm missing a spring. Well, no, it could be laying in the bottom of this, I don't know. There's all sorts of land in the bottom of the middle. Lamp lens. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Some more cotter pins land in the bottom here. Now, these ones I believe I didn't. No, I didn't. But again, I should be able to make use of Oh yeah, that was right. These were all on a tin and I couldn't be asked to sort the tin out. So I just dumped them in the box. That's it. Not a clue. <laughs> you all know those other bits I'm after might be in there. I think I do need to actually sit and go through my bike parts now. And see what I think is worth putting up on eBay. I could start an eBay shop. <laughs> Selling used bike parts. I've got enough to do that with. More than enough, I think. I very much doubt I'll u ever use that, so that's something else you know that I could stick up there. Saddle is definitely going to go up there. These racing bike pedals definitely go up there. Uh, although I know Biggles watches my eBay. <laughs> right. Okay. Clear these off my desk. Oh, we'll show you one more thing before I shut the camera off. Oh. I've definitely got a good stock, can't I? I've got a good stock of wheels at Mum's, as well as here. So that is full of just reflectors. There's nothing else in there apart from reflectors of all shapes and sizes. So I've been through that and I've added my own stock to that as well, with the original stock. Here, in that tub, is uh, all the brackets. And the reason I separated them is because you never know... Um, you might want the bracket, but a different style of reflector. So I figured if I separate them, then I can choose the bracket and the reflector that I want to use. <coughs> so it's all done. I haven't got to worry about it. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm caught quits then, so... Thanks for watching. Pardon me. I just need some um, bikes to fix now, but Biggle said those 
absolutely nothing come in during the week. That's done. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again pretty soon. Bye.